Imagine this. A young magician, summoned for the second time, unleashes a torrent of unimaginable power that leaves all of those around him in awe. This is the story of Yuki, a character whose journey from a mere summon to the most powerful magician will leave you spellbound. Through determination, growth, and an unyielding spirit, Yuki rises to new heights in a world of magic, overcoming challenges and obstacles to become a force to be reckoned with. Yuki had never considered the possibility that there was a world other than his own, one with magic, demons, and knights beyond the horizon. Like any other student, he was going about his mundane school day when his classmate Yuhi inquired about what he was gazing at. He made an effort to remind her not to engage with him or else everyone would spread nasty rumors about them, but we all know how Yuhi is, and guess what? She really didn't care. The windows darkened and a strange circle-like portal emerged on the classroom floor while they were conversing, except for Yuki who seemed to grasp what was happening. Everyone was in a panic. Everyone in his class opened their eyes a few seconds later to discover that they were no longer in their classroom, but rather in a wide wilderness. Yuki became rather excited since he knew where he was as he glanced here and there. When Yu He asked where they were, everyone's focus shifted to a nearby noise. The kids were startled to see several chemtech troops approaching them. They quickened the pace, trying to run away from the strange troops out of fear, with the exception of Yuki, but why? Because he knew where he was and what he was capable of. Yuhi swiftly grabbed hold of Yuki, not wanting to watch her childhood friend suffer harm. One of the troops attempted to shatter them at that same time. That's when Yuki channeled his powers and was able to defeat the troop one finger, and the two fled. As they advanced, they saw other foot troops charging in their way to combat the first group, who they referred to as demons. The students watched as the two armies fought, but Yuki believed that the conflict should have already come to an end. Yuki realized he had been cursed as he looked at the demons again and felt anguish in his chest. As Yuki continued to fight alongside the Royal Knights, he couldn't shake the feeling that he had been summoned to this world for a reason. It wasn't until his former comrades approached him that he began to understand the truth of his situation. And boy was he proud of them seeing them fight. Glyne, Elka, and Thea were the heroes who had been summoned to this world five years ago to defeat the Demon Army. Yuki had been the leader of the group, the former hero who had vanished after the battle. The three had been searching for him ever since, unable to find any trace of him. At first, Yuki was hesitant to reveal his true identity. He wasn't sure if he was ready to face the consequences of his disappearance. But as he spoke with his former comrades, he realized that he couldn't keep his true identity a secret any longer, and the fact that he fought Elka, and she noticed his power right away, Yuki explained that after the final battle, he had been fighting against their own companion, Toma, and both had suffered blows and injuries. But when Yuki managed to hit Toma's shoulder, a magic ball started to slowly expand, and he was reborn in his original world. He kept all his memories and magic power, and somehow was summoned once more to this world. Reuniting with his former comrades gave Yuki a sense of purpose. A reason to fight for this world once again, he was ready to use his skills and knowledge to help put an end to this conflict and bring peace to this world. On the split side, the king was not happy. He had enough of those pesky demons and their constant attacks on his kingdom, so what did he do? He decided to declare an all-out war against them. Yes, that's right, you heard it correctly, a war. Of course, not everyone was thrilled with this plan. Glyne, one of the heroes summoned to this world along with Yuki, tried to delay the start of the war. He knew that the heroes weren't ready for this battle and they needed more training, but the king wasn't having any of it. He was determined to take down the demons once and for all. Enter Yuki, who had just revealed his true identity as the former hero. He couldn't stand by and watch this war start without doing something about it. He believed this war was just some stupid thing Toma, his former companion, was creating and he was the one who needed to stop him. Yuki's departure was bittersweet, his former comrades understood why he had to leave, but they couldn't help feeling sad to see him go. They promised to do everything they could to delay the king from starting the war. Hoping it would give Yuki enough time to stop Toma and the demon invasion, Yuhi, Yuki's childhood friend, couldn't bear the thought of him leaving without her. She begged and pleaded with him to let her come with him, promising she would be useful. Yuki couldn't allow her to get hurt, but he was impressed by her determination. 
Yuki's journey has been nothing short of remarkable, from his initial confusion and disbelief to his ultimate recognition as the most powerful magician in the kingdom. Yuki's growth and development has captivated us all, but this is just the beginning. What other challenges and adventures await Yuki in this mystical world? Can he stop the demon invasion? Find out in our upcoming videos.